we're going to pull the uh, snazzy, that's what we call our uh, slingshot, up on the trailer. And my assistance there, my lovely Gail, is going to uh, operate the winch. Uh, this is a screw type winch. I had to come up with a system here uh, to get the cable up above so it doesn't rub. Now I'm going to show you here what we've got is I've got some straps. These are tie down straps too. One on this side, one on the other to the lower control arm and I adjusted them so they meet in the center and I have a hook on that. I'm going to pull it up to a certain point and I'm going to see uh, just what we have to do uh, to get it uh, off of that deal right there. may have to pull that thing back a little bit. Uh, this is all part of uh, engineering right now. So you're first hand to see it. Now, one of the things, I've got a jack stand on each side so that I don't have to have a uh, vehicle. Also have a couple of wheel chocks uh, to keep the trailer from moving. And so far, a lot of the weight is on the back and supported by the jack stands. So, we've pushed it up onto the ramp as far as we could go. Alignment is very important. You see, you got about an inch and a half on either side. You go to the back. I keep moving my wheel chalk back behind it as I go up for added security. And I can probably pull it to the right just a little bit. All right, we're gonna we're using a cordless right now just to see if it's powerful enough to get it up to this point. And uh, we'll see how, how it happens. Uh, first, let me see, Gail, if I can move this back. Yeah. Okay, I'm see what I say is perfect. <laughs> now look, guys, we've already been where you're trying to get. We're doing the engineering on this. See that? About an inch and a half. Inch and a half on that side. Uh, don't you think I'm about even? I'm going right up the center. Everything is good. My pulley uh, right here has done its job to get me over the edge. I can pull this pulley out. That's why I didn't mount it on here and it's adjustable. So all I have to do is pull it up and pull it out. This is what it consists of. It's actually just a, a wheel something I made. We're having to manually wind The winch is having to winch. She's winching. Okay, go. And of course, uh, I'm uh, monitoring. And I keep moving the jack stand. Keep going. I know. Oh. How's it doing? Yep. Once we get this wheel onto the thing, it's going to be easier, and we may be able to go back to the to the drill. Well, I think then we can just push it by hand. 
forward. No, not because the rear wheel has to go up over. All right, let me see how the other side looks. Yep, perfect. I thought we were getting the rear wheel up there. So, I mean, the, the other front wheel. Clear. Yeah, suddenly it's real loose. What's okay, the so that's it. Because you've, uh, you've come over the edge, now the drill will work. Oh, jeez, I had my finger off of it and it's still raining. You okay, well then pull it up if that happens. You're still not. Like that. Yeah. See how it, uh, it hits it the point. It doesn't hit anything. Do not get near this. Uh, don't move from where you are. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, stop just a second. Alright, you can see how the system works. And it looks like if we could use an electric drill and continuously go, the worm gear will pull that thing up. And you know why I'm doing this? This baby may uh, uh, quit on me one day and I need to go and pick it up or I need to take it in because it won't drive. So I want to be able to, to get it up on a trailer if I can't drive it up. And it's a little safer. Okay, stop it. Pull it off. It's hot. Okay. Now, what we've got to do is we've got to wind it the rest of the way. Here's the problem, guys. This is going to be... It's got to pull it up over that area right there, and that's the problem. I mean, wind. Wind. Okay, now you can see, she's, I said yes, wine, please. See how it's going a little bit at a time. Keep going. <coughs> Getting easy? Yeah. That's good. I'm going to be hitting my hand on the front of it, though. Well, I don't want to get to that point. Well, you're there. Push this thing at this point. Hey, Gail and I are going to see if we can push it on up so we don't have to change that, uh, uh, <laughs> that handle. The handle is out of the way. And let me get this up, Gail. Yep, okay. No, get over to the side just like we were before. Hey, John. How you doing? Okay. Now, uh, grab hold of the down there and push. Yes. Keep going. Whoa. That's it. You just stay right there. I think it worked. Did you go to show me with him? Yes. I still never met her. Okay. Push it on up a little bit more. It hit the, the wheel chocks. Right there. Okay. Now, we are on there. And we're close to that. Must be that we're right up against the other one. One of the wheel chocks stopped us. Yep. Okay. They're right up there. And you can see how much space we got. And how much space there. This is 14 foot, and you can see right there 
we're good. And we can close the gate and we're good. And even if the, the gate, uh, if we pulled it back a little bit, uh, the tire can go up against it without any trouble. You saw it here first.